I'm back. This is the first vlog I've done in months and months. I'm actually in Napier. I'm on my way to Havelock North. I'm going to go up to Tamat Tamata Point on my new KTM 890 Duke R, which has done approximately 190. Well, it has done not approximately done 193 kilometres. So I'm still still uh, breaking it in. But um, yeah, I thought I'd give you my first impressions on this little puppy. So really I've only done about three or four little rides on it. This is probably the longest one of the lot, to be honest. Um, I had to get a job in Napier. Uh, I left Auckland where I'm going back on weekends and sold my house in Auckland, bought a house in Napier and with the proceeds of my house sale I bought myself a Ute, a Hilux SR5 and also sold my Aprilia Dorsa Duro, kept a Tuono and bought this puppy and just haven't had a chance to ride it yet so I'm going to go out for a ride on the weekend which will be good but I thought I'd give you my first impressions my first impressions compared to the Aprilia Dorsa Duro is this thing is a fucking hoot to ride it is so tiny in terms of um, well, tiny tiny? tiny the right word? I don't know if it's tiny it's actually good, I'm 6'6 and I fit on it nice and uh, nice and snugly and it's thin as and boy oh boy can you throw this thing around it is so much fun and it's got so much punch for uh, an 800 the engine is tiny apparently it's the same size engine as the 690 used to be but it's got uh, this has got the full titanium Akrapovich on it which saves about I think it's about seven kilos and gives it another oh, I can't remember five ten horsepower so it's about it's about 125 126 horsepower um, and it, oh god it's just so light I think it's like a, it's about 20 kilos lighter than the Dorsa Duro and bloody hell does it feel it it really does I've got the uh, tech pack on this too so it's got the shifter up and down um, uh, and the race uh, sorry the track pack on it so you can turn wheelie control off and set all your settings and what have you I can't do that until it's running but um, we're getting there. Shit, I've got no idea where I'm going now. I'm going to have to pull over and put the map back on. Because uh, this is all very new to me. Hold on. There we go. Oh, shit, I was lucky. I was going to go completely the wrong way. I'm going up that big hill over there. I've got the drone on me as well, so we'll um, do a bit of... Uh, ooh gravel in the road and the, oh my god this thing sounds epically good as well it does sound like a v-twin which is uh, surprising but with that um that full system on it it's pretty loud uh, i've left the baffle thing because i don't want it to be any louder than what it is so i'm going to really piss off my new neighbors but i uh i am so glad that i uh made the change i'm actually checking that my um camera still recording because it's a bit temperamental which is a bit annoying oh, we're going around here oh look at that sun um yeah so uh, to be honest with you I, as much as i love aprilia and i do and that daughter duro is beautiful bike beautifully made solid as a rock never had an issue with it loved riding it sounded great I think I just got a bit bored of it, to be honest. Oh shit, I'm going to turn there. Better go back. Um, I got bored of it. Oh my god, the turning circle on this thing is epic. So I'm not really... 
really concentrating on my riding. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I just got a bit, a bit bored. I didn't really want to ride it. I love it, but I just didn't really want to ride it, which is weird because. I don't know, it just didn't have, the, it was a big heavy bike, it was a pain in the ass to move around, it was fucking heavy. And this thing is like a feather compared to that, it's just incredible. And I've got the big, you know, 175 horsepower Super Naked in the Tuono, which I love, I love the Tuono, it's just a beast of a bike. But I wanted something that I can just like jump on, not worry about it too much, whiz around, and oh my god, this thing does everything you would ever need it to do. It's so bloody responsive. I can't wait to do a few wheelies on it, and it's just so good. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. I cannot, I just can't believe how much I liked it and how much it surprised me. Um, I think that's a the biggest thing really is, is the surprise because I bought it without even sitting on one so I took a bit of a punt and I got it delivered uh, in a you know the the, the um, I bought it new and the guys just I think it's one of there's only about three in the country when I bought it and um, I got it delivered and just from the, the just from the you know the first ride I was like fucking hell this thing is mad really is good. Oh, when we go down here, oh, sorry. Sorry, I should concentrate on my riding a little bit. I'm going to fucking... So we're going to go up this hill. Where am I going? Yeah, just follow the road. Follow the twisty little road. Woohoo! And it's got, um, you know, they say it's fully adjustable WP suspension, but it, you can't actually can't actually muck around with the preload on the on the forks. You can on the on the shock, the rear shock. But um, yeah, I know I'm totally I'm totally uh, happy and kind of in love with this thing. Actually, it sticks to the road. And you can just flip it around. It's just so light and agile. It's kind of weird. It's so different to the Dorsa Zero in that respect because the Dorsa Zero was a was a big heavy chunky machine um oh let me buy thanks mate cheers bro so yeah That much. I can't wait. And it's got Bluetooth. You can connect your phone to the um, to the screen here, uh, which is uh, great. So you can actually put your map from your phone onto the onto the screen, which I haven't actually figured out how to do yet. To be honest, it's uh, like I say, this is only like my fourth real ride on it. It's done 201 kilometres. Hello mate. That exhaust just lets off this wicked little pop when you uh, when you use quick shifter as well. Yeah, it's so good. Can't wait to get those revs up to be honest because at the moment they are well I haven't really taken it over six grand I think it red lines at nine and a half I think six is the most this is all a bit nice isn't it around here and I've never been up here on my own. I've been up here once in a car but I wasn't driving Bloody nice. Woohoo! Also scrubbing those tyres in, it's got a Michelin Super Cup Pro, Super Cups, whatever they're fucking called on, though, but they're 
the sticky tyres, but they're um, they're uh, you, you need to you need to scrub them in quite carefully because basically they're slicks with a couple of holes in. Good little road. is bloody gorgeous. I'd say the suspension is as good, if not better, than the island on the Toronto, which I know people aren't going to like that, but it's true. Oh my god, look at that. That's fucking epic. Whoop. Oh my god. How beautiful is that? Jesus. <laughs> Apparently there's a really good, uh, oh you can see it, the cycle track just there. Oh my god. Fuck! Woo. Hello. Right, I'm going to get the drone out. The brakes are just insane. Yeah, I'll be. It's a it's a beautiful bike. I'm super impressed with it. Um, I've got a YouTube channel which I I do. Yeah, so I'm just doing a review on it now, which is why I was shooting all that stuff. So you should check that out. Fingers Rise, it's called. Okay. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 See what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the, and the brakes on this thing, oh, they've got Stylema calipers on the front and a Brembo on the back and the Stylema calipers are newer than the, um, the M50s I think they're called on the on the Twino which are very good for these things and it being such a light bike holy shit the brakes are good 
holy shit. Like, so good. So good. Cheers, mate. sunset out. What an amazing, what an amazing place. This is mad. Look at that. Say, it's all coming together. Look at this road, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Bed the brakes in and these little twisty bends. So good. I've got to be careful because when I've got the camera on, I uh, tend to concentrate on the camera rather than my riding. Well, there you go. Check it out. Hopefully, all of this is recording properly because I'll be pretty upset if it's not. So, I think the uh, summary is this bike is surprisingly good. I've never ridden the 790. I, I, I hear mixed things about it. There was a few issues with it. I don't know what they were, but that's kind of what I read and heard. But, but this thing is uh, just a bundle of fun. And I don't need to, I thought about getting the Super Duke, but I thought, you know, I've got a Tuono. Why do I need a Super Duke? This is more, this is just a bit more kind of cash, fun, light, and less serious, I think. I think that's kind of the thing I was looking for, was something a little less serious. The Tuono's a serious bike. It's a serious bike. 
and the uh, North Seduro was very gentlemanly, although fun, but gentlemanly, I would call it. This is this is just a bit of a naughty bastard. A naughty, fun, easy bastard. Like a good mate you can hang out with. Have a few beers, have a laugh. You know, no strings, no fucking upsetting anyone. It's just a bunch of fun. And so it's done everything I wanted it to do. I wanted it to be. It is everything I wanted it to be. So far. For the 209 kilometers I've done on it. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon that I, you know, I'm gonna be choosing this baby over the Tuono to go on weekend rides even every now and again. Who knows? We shall see. Oh well, I hope you, in, uh, you enjoyed my little rant and um, yeah, I'll get some more videos up soon and uh, if you like what you uh, watching, what you're watching or you want to know more then just have a look at some some of my other videos and whoop, where am I going? Right. Some of my videos and subscribe and like um, I'd really like to uh, have you on my channel. Yeah. Alright. Nice one. Catch you later. Bloody phone's run out of batteries. I don't know where I'm going. I'm completely lost. Bloody, 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 bloody fuck. Right. Back up. We're back up and running.